What's up guys, Handish here, and today we're going to jump in and take a look at the Arbalest Exotic Linear Fusion Rifle that of course we get via the Revelry in Destiny 2. So we're going to take a look at the weapon, we've got some gameplay, speak about how this weapon performs in PvP and PvE content, as well as how you can unlock it and all that good stuff. So if you guys enjoyed the video, a rating below really helps me out, but otherwise let's jump straight into it. So we're going to take a reasonable first look at Arbalest right here. Before we get into this one though, got to say a massive thanks to my pal Ghost who let me jump on his account to try this weapon out, and to my clan mate Savage, Easy, Jbot, and a bunch of others for grinding to try and pick Arbalest up today. In terms of how you actually acquire the weapon though, of course it is associated with the Revelry event this year. If you want further details about the currency and the triumphs and stuff for this event, then I'll link my previous video down below, but otherwise it is pretty self-explanatory when it comes to picking this weapon up from Evil Avante. Now briefly, before we take a look at some gameplay of the weapon, of course the exotic intrinsic bonus is Compounding Force. The weapon fires slugs that cause massive damage to elemental shields of enemy combatants. So that is a primarily PvE focused perk, but it also has extended barrel, as well as projection fuse, Disruption Break, where breaking an enemy shield with this weapon makes them more vulnerable to kinetic damage for a brief period, and then it also has Composite Stock. And obviously we can see Arbalest is a pretty unique and interesting looking weapon as well. And the interesting thing of course, is that this is a linear fusion rifle, but until now all of these have been in the heavy slot. So in terms of weapons that this is actually similar to, something like Crooked Fang is very nearly the same weapon, you know, in terms of base stats and stuff like that. And of course with this archetype, you're able to put out some pretty decent damage. So in terms of PvP stuff, you're going to see around 166 to the body, but it can hit 414 per crit on a Guardian. So obviously that is a one shot to the head, and if you hit the body, it's going to leave them absolute. In the Crucible you will load in with two in the mag, this weapon does use special ammo, but in PvE content, that should be five in the mag by default with 12 in reserve, so you've got a total of 17 rounds without bonuses. So how does this weapon handle? Well very similar to other linear fusion rifles really, you know if you do have experience with something like Crooked Fang, on the whole it does feel pretty similar. We do have 61 points of aim assist on both Crooked Fang and Arbalest, but with Arbalest the hitbox does feel pretty generous, it feels like it hits shots with relative ease, and the handling on the weapon is pretty good as well. And of course it's somewhat similar to a sniper in a lot of respects, but you do have that charge time, and with these you don't have that kind of bulky sniper scope, so you do maintain kind of generally better field of view around you. I mean I'm not a fantastic sniper, and I'm definitely not a big user of linear fusion rifles, Especially because a lot of them are in the heavy slot of course, so they're not the most popular in PvP. And I think that is going to change a little bit with Arbalest. This helps by the fact that you can pair it up with some pretty popular hand cannons, things like Luna's Howl, but of course a bunch of other primaries as well. And that high damage does mean that it's pretty good for combating supers, probably more so than most sniper rifles, and you can one shot to the body in a well of radiance. So that's going to be pretty nasty. But yeah, I think it's an interesting weapon on the PvP front. But of course that compounding force bonus isn't necessarily super effective in terms of Crucible. In PvE the shield bonus is pretty interesting, it certainly knocks shields off relatively easily, it does a lot of damage, and that pairs very well with Disruption Break, because if you do knock the shield off with that weapon, they're going to become more vulnerable to the kinetic damage that you're firing from that weapon in follow-up shots. Also interesting, because this weapon fires a slug round, you can see that when it hits a shield, you'll actually get multiple damage numbers, and so that's where a lot of that bonus damage on the shields is coming from. So it's going to be really good for tanky targets in PvE content, but I think especially in things like Gambit, flexibility for invasion and the PvE ability that the weapon has definitely makes it pretty appealing in certain types of content. However, I feel like on the whole in PvE, there will be kind of niche encounters or certain types of content where the weapon really stands out. You know, whereas there are other weapons which are really powerhouses in every respect, Arbalest is definitely more niche and that includes in the Crucible as well. It is however a very fun and satisfying weapon, it's hard to say just how potent and how commonly we'll see the weapon across all types of content, I'd be curious to hear what you guys think about that. But as I said before it's fantastic to finally have a linear fusion rifle that doesn't require heavy ammo because in terms of those archetypes, I think right now they're probably better off being in the other weapon slots. But anyway that is a quick look at Arbalest guys, let us know down below if you've picked the weapon up or if it's one that you're grinding for right now. But if you have enjoyed this brief look at the weapon, a like below is very much appreciated. And if you want to see more Destiny 2 content, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, thank you for tuning in, and I'll catch you all very soon.